Good afternoon. I am Elliot, and I am here at Walton Hall, and welcome to our You Are Home Live tour. Um, like I said earlier, we are at Walton Hall, and this is an upperclassman dorm. A lot of the kids here are also in fraternities or sororities um, that don't have houses just yet, and so that's primarily the demographic that we're looking at. But what I love about Walton is it's literally like the best part of campus, if you ask me. You've got the uh, Reynolds Stadium right here, so football. That is, that is the stadium right there. It is beautiful. Your neighbor across, right the across the street. Yep, indeed. And uh, wonderful tailgating sections. And then the cool thing about Walton is it's actually split into two half dorms, if you'll go with that. We have Walton South over here, and then Walton North is up the hill on this side. So be sure you don't go to the wrong dorm whenever you're checking in. Right, right. And here in the neighborhood, um, let's see, we've also got the Hyper. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been there? I have once or twice. So yeah. for any gym junkies, we also have uh, the Barnhill Arena, I think is what you're looking at right now. So mm -hmm. any sort of volleyball games will be hosted there. Right, right. Excellent. And then right down the street from Fraternity Row. Now, have you have you visited here as a fr as uh, visited friends here or anything? Uh, a couple of times. A couple of my friends are RAs here, so it's interesting to see you know how the the dorm life here is for the upperclassmen compared to for freshmen. And you made that distinction again between North Walton and South Walton. I guess that's an important right. distinction because you're going to be in one area or the other. Exactly. So if you check into Walton North and you get to Walton South. You might walk in on somebody you don't want to walk in on. <laughs> okay. Well, um, let's go ahead and head inside. Do you happen to know how many students are here? There are about 145 students here. Okay. Year. Great. And uh, I guess I'll point out Stadium Drive. Again, just so you know, this road in front of us is called Stadium Drive. Mm -hmm. All right. So. so heading in. And we're headed towards the south. But well, we're coming in through the central area, right? Nice, pretty, extremely hot day. Yes, it is rather warm today. All right. What does it say? Backwards. Ah, we get it. But Walton Hall, Darby Hall entrance. Okay. Darby with the old uh, dining hall. Darby was the old dining hall. Mm -hmm. Interesting. One of the cool things, we'll stop right here. Um, uh -huh. My favorite things to see is the, uh, the students here get to do all sorts of painting and stuff. So like I said, there are a lot of Greek life students. And so they make these huge banners just about every other week for uh, whatever program or whatever event they're hosting. And so these are all over the place. They're beautiful. And it's just really cool to see all of them kind of like pouring back into the building. Yeah, it's so much school spirit. And we love that people unite behind their different fraternities and sororities and the larger Razorback spirit on the whole. Right. So before we go up to the front desk, we're going to stop in. This is one of the, uh, the laundry rooms that we have here. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen three. There may be more hidden around in different corners. There are some sort of hidden areas in there Walton, are. aren't there? You could get lost. I did this now. <laughs> um, but this is a fairly standard uh, laundry room. And so the cool thing is what we've done this last year um, over this summer, we've actually partnered with a company, and they brought in brand new washers and dryers. And the cool thing is, you can actually scan these QR codes right here, and that'll take you to their website where you can check to see if they're open or if anybody's using them right now. Um, and it also allows you to set up notifications on your phone so that if you need to, it'll say, hey, come change your laundry to the dryer, or hey, your stuff is done. Very, very nice. And it doesn't cost anything to use the washer dryer. If you're an upperclassman, you're here, you already know that, but mm -hmm. just so we can say that uh, it's covered under your room fees. No need to find all the quarters in your Pretty couch well. yeah. and bring them. Okay. And there's three, at least three, at least laundries three. throughout the Walton building. If anybody has any questions, feel free to ask. We're happy to answer them as they come in. Now let's point out this, but we don't want to go in because there's students in there and other people are using that space. But. Right, but this is the entrance to Walton South, or mm -hmm. one of them. And so, um, kind of the great divide, everything past this side of the desk will be Walton North, and this is Walton South. So right in the center of the building right mm -hmm. now. Yes, okay. sir. Gotcha. All right, pass on through. And here we are looking out towards the east side. And what is that? So that's the parking deck. Is that the Student mm -hmm. Union parking the deck? Union parking garage. So Union parking garage is right there. Mm 
which is very handy because they do meal trades in the Union every night, mm -hmm. past 5 p.m., so you're in the perfect location, and you're never too far away from food here. Right. It's very nice for a college student. We've got the front desk area. Front desk, so this is where your mail will be handled. Um, whatever mail or packages you get will be sent here. Mr. Adam from Buchanan Droke will be here to uh, process everything, and you'll pick it up here. Excellent, okay. So we're heading into one of the common areas. There's another really big common area in Walton South, but then there's this one as well. Right. And it's pretty gigantic. Let's see. Nice here. little setup. Yeah. Lots of people can come hang out down here, play ping pong. Or have a conference if you are so... Sure, and there's a study space it looks like in here? Mm hmm Will walk us in there? I would love to. All right. This is nice because you have your own printer set up in here, uh -huh. so if you need any late night essays or anything like that, you won't have to run out to, let's say, the library or anything like that to print. It's right here at your convenience, and we also have whiteboards. You need to see it to believe it, draw on it as much as you want. Now, did you write that up there? I did not. I That's don't your language though, right? Aren't you dealer. a finance major? I am. I am okay. indeed. But that wasn't me. That okay, was another hooligan. All right, some other finance hooligan. That's right. Okay. Great. Well, so let's um, let's now go out. I guess we're gonna. Want to take a look at the kitchen? kitchen? Oh yeah, let's look at the kitchen. Right. And so, on our way there, we can pass by the Recycle Mania Trophy. That's right. So, so what they do every year, housing puts on this huge tournament called Recycle Mania, where uh, people, all the dorms, compete to see who's the best sustainability uh, champion. And so, as you can see, a couple of other dorms have made it the last couple of years. But Walton won it this last year, and so it's kind of like one of the ongoing traditions that we have. They started a hashtag called Do It For Jan, and Jan is, uh, uh, Jan Gosnell, right? Is our, mm -hmm. um, yep, is our um, uh, IS, main ISA mm -hmm. in this area, and she, ra she was part of the rallying cry for it. And they actually won this charging station uh, that has all the different dongles for the different charging things that you might want. So, good to know that that's there. And uh, Jan let me know that they're going to be purchasing a set of pots and pans that are going to be open for the residents. Uh, they're going to be mounted along the wall oh. here so that you don't need to check them out. You just need to come down, of course, on the honor system and clean up after yourself. But New pots and pans as a result of right. Recycle Mania win as well. Okay, great. Yeah, well, we're we are in, the, in kitchen. the kitchen right now. Very nice kitchen. has everything you can need for cooking. Um, let's say you get tired of cafeteria food and you decide you want, you and your friends want to make something that night, feel free just so long as you provide your own food. Mm -hmm. And the big thing I always tell people is make sure you put your name on your stuff in the fridge or else people will take it, like my tubs of ice cream freshman year. Oh. Yeah, the good stuff. Uh, what flavor? Uh, what's your, what's your... Vanilla. I'm a very plain kind of guy. Really? No, no old-fashioned or no. French? Just straight just up straight Yarnell's up vanilla. vanilla. Okay. Yes, sir. Gotcha. All right, so let's keep moving along on the first floor here. And then what are we going to go? We're going to go down past the first office. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> That's why I need you here to keep me there going go. straight. So Walton is not just a uh, residential hall. It's also the home of the uh, Greek Life Council office, which is really cool. We'll take you by there real quick. And then it's also home to the Fayetteville Food Pantry, um, and so we're going to dip in there and talk to one of my friends, and she's going to give us a little 15 seconds of fame spiel about it. That's fantastic. And um, Stadium, of course, is also known as uh, Fraternity Row, mm -hmm. I believe. Yes, and so you have all of the different fraternities along this, uh, along this way. Back outside. All right, so we're about to pass by... The, uh, the Greek Life Leadership Center is what they officially call it, but any sort of Greek life or uh, fraternity stuff goes on through here. Um, mm -hmm. They handle the main stuff on campus, and so it's always a fun time here, but it's always nice to have somebody right downstairs that you can talk to about Greek life. Sure. And then if we keep going... For all your Greek life needs. That's right, that's right. And then we're about to dip into the food pantry, which... You know, I've, I've, I've volunteered there uh, once with some of my fellow staff members, and we had a blast. We really enjoyed just seeing what all they do here. Um, it's fun. Yeah, yeah. They've actually had quite the, uh, the year this year. I think this summer they've had the busiest summer they've ever had in their history. So reaching a lot of people um, and all of their needs across the Fayetteville community. 
And I, I don't uh, necessarily want to repeat what they're going to tell us, but I'll say that one of the things they do is if you're a student or staff member here, they'll feed you. Yep. Simple as that. I think they up to will. twice a week or something like that. Yeah. Let's see. So. So this is the backside. <laughs> I think they can already tell that the architecture here lends itself to a little going in and out to try to get different places. Yeah, it's a, it's kind of a maze, but we'll cut through <laughs> the grass real quick. We will. So this is the back way, like we showed a little bit earlier, this is the, uh, the student parking garage which they're currently working on. Okay. And then right up the hill is the actual student union where you can meal trade every night. All right. So let's get a picture of the name there. We'll see if they answer for us. Oh, I think they are going to. Hey, Miss Liz. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you guys? Good, just fine. We thought we might come in and just say hello for a second. Yeah. So well, people hey. would know that within Walton Hall, we also have the Full Circle Food Pantry. Yes, our logo's right yeah. here. Yeah, take us in. logo. Sure. Can you uh, introduce yourself? So I am Liz Johnson. I am the Full Circle, uh, Full Circle Food Pantry intern for the summer in um, the fall. I will be the data coordinator. Great. So we were started in, if you want a little bit of history, we were started in 2011. Mm -hmm. And the space was originally a kitchen. It is now expanded to that, and it was donated, so it's really exciting. Um, on average, we feed about 300, 300 people. That includes families and all of our clients. We do everything off a request form. Okay. If you want to see that. Sure. So everything is ID-based, mm -hmm. and we serve anyone with university. So ID-based would mean that you need to be yes. a student or staff member. Yes, we serve year. anyone with the University of Arkansas ID. So mm -hmm. that means grad students, undergrads, staff, faculty, maintenance workers, all that kind. How, What's the word? House? Yeah. Custodian? Yes. All of them. Right. Sorry, all of them. So mm -hmm. if you want to take a real quick, what we do, we do everything with a three-day portioning guide. Okay. So if you want to get a video of that real quick, it's actually right here. Sure, sure. So we have soup, we have tuna, everything is, for the most part, we do a lot of canned, mm -hmm. um, but everything is based off a three-day portioning guide, and we do it off of the number of people in the family. And our policies, they can come up to twice a week. And during the school year, we are open three days a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. So if I take you a real quick through here, okay. um, everything is kind of organized by category, which is really cool. Our volunteers are awesome. They do a lot of that. Um, the next thing that we do is we focus um, on expiration date. Um, the big thing is we cannot give out anything that's expired. Gotcha. So we always check the expiration date. And this would be, you know, for the students who are watching this, they're mostly incoming students. Okay, yeah. They may, um, if, they, if they need to have uh, some food, they could come here and yes. up to twice a week, they, they can get it. They can up to twice a week. Yeah, Great. All you have to do is show your University of Arkansas ID. We do ask for a little bit of student, student demographics, but it's nothing... Okay. I'm invasive or anything like sure. that. And it looks like you have a ton of great food here, but you're always looking for more food, right? Yes. We always so we can always food. take donations. Here. Yes. We, I actually have a magnet. Uh -huh. if you want to, I can show sure, you sure. real quick. Um, these are just kind of the, oh. I get it off. These are kind of just the top list of okay. the stuff that we go through the most. We'll get that in there. Hey, thank you yes, so much no, for letting us take a quick so tour by. It's awesome to meet you. Yeah, pleasure. What do you got? That. <laughs> oh, okay. Fantastic. All right, thank you. And our application goes online August 9th, and it's for our semester. Could you tell us your hours? We are open, so Mondays from 11 to 3, mm -hmm. Wednesdays from 3 to 5, and Thursdays from 10 to 2. And we also have a garden that's associated with Full Circle, okay. so any Holder Culture kids or if you're just really into gardening, we have a nice. garden application that is also go August 9th. We're still working with some dates, but we're thinking about three days a week. Fantastic. So really cool. garden at Maple Hill? It is the garden actually off of Happy Hollow. Okay. okay. Awesome. Yep. Thank so, you so much. Yeah, thank you, guys. Great. We'll continue our tour of uh, Walton Hall, the nice little logo there. Love that. All right, so let's go see a room. All right, that sounds like a plan. All right, All right well, we're going to go play the maze again. <laughs> Run through the maze. That's right. One of the cool things you'll see is there's plenty of scooter parking. One of the best ways to get around campus up here is to have a scooter. Mm -hmm. um, and so if you get a scooter pass and whatnot, you can park anywhere in this lot. It's really nice just because it makes getting to class that much easier. Right. And up at the top of the hill there, that is the agricultural the admin building. Admin. The admin building, okay. Just to give people a sense of where we are. Right. Okay. All right, so we're going back into the depths of the actual residence hall. Who? <laughs> there we go. Okay, so let's head on down and see a room now. That'll be great. 
Yeah, okay, so we're headed, this would be uh, the north, yes, the north sir. side, right? So all the north. Okay. And we'll hop into this room right here. Sure. The interesting thing about these rooms is they're all, I guess, the Jack and Jill configuration. Yes, sir. So the way it works, all these rooms are pretty much the same. Mm -hmm. um, you'll walk in, and so it has a built-in bed here with built-in furniture as well, so all sorts of cabinetry and whatever you might need for storage. You may pull out using these, mm -hmm. um, nice deep shelves and whatnot, and then you can just lay this down and you have a built-in bed ready to go. Go ahead and lay that down if you don't mind. All right. Now, Walton North, the mattresses are 84 inches. They're okay. a super extra long twin. In Walton South, the beds are 80 inches. The mattresses right. are 80 inches. So 84 inches is, would be that bed right there. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Be careful because okay. you might be stretching otherwise. And this is just one person's room. Mm -hmm. Um, there's another one that looks almost exactly like this. Let's see, you get back here. More closet space right here. Nice built-in desk. Each room has its own personal uh, thermostat built in. Mm -hmm. So if you like it cold, you can have it cold. That's all good. Um, and it's really cool because you get to like kind of make the room your own, which a lot of people really like. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Did you so see a lot of different ways people design their room, mm -hmm. whatever you can I saw uh, paintings all over the place and stuff like that. It's really cool to see how they, how each person does their own individual thing. Yeah. So we're going into the, the bathroom area. Well, let's check out this. Well, let's uh, check out the closet Even first. more storage space. Yeah. There's that. Sure. So the way it works is you have your own room, but you share a bathroom with the person next door to you. But you have your own sink, right. it looks like. Yeah. And then you have some more cabinetry here. Mm -hmm. Lots of cabinetry, actually. Lots and lots. So you'll walk in here, and mm -hmm. so this you will be the bathroom. The toilet and the shower. Okay. And then here we are. Great. Okay. And then you've got an area here. That... Mm -hmm. So this is kind of a closet, down. I guess. Right. Sit down. Just change a little bit. Same thing with over here, you've got two of them. Mm -hmm. I guess this is an area where you can commonly store stuff, but it's in the shared bathroom. Right. And if we go across here, again, just the same thing. Same layout. Same layout as before. Well, I guess the exact opposite. The opposite right. Yeah. There's the Ducox box right there that you'll connect to. Fully HD TV all across campus. Okay, well great. Well, that gives us a good tour of one of the rooms in um, Walton. Uh, are there any questions? As long as we're answering questions here, uh, either about Walton or personal questions for Elliot. I'm an open book. He's an open book, he says. Okay. And the, um, the extra long mattresses in Walton South are, are included with the loftable bed. So in Walton, the beds aren't built in, but they'll be loftable. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so in north, you can loft them? or where? Uh, No, in south. In north, uh, you're, you're left at the platform. Okay, okay. Oh, gotcha. Cool. Okay, well, why don't you wave us out? Nice to see y'all, kind of. <laughs>